Let's see if the pantanoma can avoid a painting. We're gonna press the launch button. His rotor start. We're gonna fly him up into the air a little bit. He's got an altimeter, so he's gonna hold his altitude. He seems to be drifting just a little bit. The gyro is not perfectly set right now. Let's see if I can trim him out a little. Okay, let's see if he'll avoid the painting. Obstacle avoidance does work. Sort of, kind of. To see if we can stop from hitting this garage. Yeah, he did not hit the garage. He saw the garage. And is backing away from it. I'm on it right here. Right here. Well, that's his obstacle avoidance feature. It sort of works. You can understand the idea. It does work to a degree, but it's not going to stop you from hitting a tree or anything else but if you're in a nice brightly lit room it should help you avoid the walls but you can see his autopilot works pretty well he hovers himself nicely the uh, adjustable camera it's pretty cool to be able to adjust but it doesn't adjust like you know high precision you press it and it jumps down you got three settings down medium and up and it looks like he has auto landed himself because that is the end of his battery there. So that's our battery life, our battery flight time. Obstacle avoidance kind of works. He can avoid a big wall, but he kind of avoided the painting a little bit. But... Okay, well, we tested out the obstacle avoidance and it works all right, but there aren't any obstacles out here. So we're just going to test out the flight and the camera. Of course, this uh, transmitter holds your phone. It's not quite big enough for the... Uh, old uh, iPhone 3s but as long as I hold it flat it should be okay but let's test it out and see what kind of video we can get with it I'm gonna record the video with the phone go ahead and press the launch button starts the rotors and then we fly So it flies all right, it's pretty smooth, pretty decent. I don't want to go out too far over the water because it uh, doesn't get the best range in the world, but I trust it enough to fly over the water with it. You know, it flies all right. It's a pretty smooth flying aircraft. It's pretty decent. Let's see if we can go harass some ducks with it. See some ducks over there. I'm pretty sure they won't be very fond of this aircraft. They are more than 50 feet away. And the Wi-Fi range is really about 50 feet or so. 
it's a good uh, indoor aircraft and it's a good around the house aircraft but if you're gonna go really far distances away from yourself like 200 yards or more then the Wi-Fi video just won't be able to transmit all the way The altitude hold works pretty, pretty nice. I mean, you let go of the uh, throttle and it'll stay where it's at. Um, it doesn't have GPS, so it's going to drift with the wind. But they really tried to put as many features on this aircraft as they could. Somebody worked some real long, late, hard hours on this aircraft trying to perfect it. So someone really put a lot of work into this aircraft. They polished every last aspect of it. They did a really good job with the design, the modular camera, modular battery, modular obstacle avoidance system, the little power button. Everything's really nicely integrated. So they worked really hard on this and polished it up really nice. And it's not a bad aircraft. I mean, it flies, you know, pretty decent. The obstacle avoidance sort of works, you know. Um, the transmitter, I do really enjoy this rechargeable transmitter because, you know, it doesn't need batteries. You can recharge it with the same charger that you charge the aircraft's battery with. All the switches are really nicely labeled and easy to see what they do. You can adjust the camera with it. Um, it is, of course, designed for larger phones than the uh, iPhone 3S, but, uh, you know, altogether, it's a pretty decent aircraft. So that's the Pentanoma. I hope I'm saying that right. Obstacle avoiding RC helicopter. You can check this out by following the link in the video's description. As always, we appreciate you tuning in to RC 101 with the Dawes Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Oh, it hit it.